Okay, so this is um, standard Fisher and Paykel uh, washing machine motor removed from a washing machine. Um, bought on eBay, uh, doing about 60 RPM. Um, it's running off of uh, 48 volts at the moment, thereabouts, maybe 50. Uh, I'm using a Phoenix HV80 ICE2 um, speed control, electronic speed control. This is a radio control system. You can see that down there. Um, and this is being run through a 2.4 gigahertz RC system, so I'm just using that to control the speed and using a uh, high tech, second hand high tech radio RC system. So you can see Okay, so essentially it proves that uh, you can do it. It's putting out, pulling about 120 milliamps at this speed. If you come down in speed, obviously that drops considerably. Um, you start putting it under load, the current starts to go up. So it starts to rub on the desk because it's just held in a vice. Um, yeah, that's about all I wanted to say about this. It's not perfect um, in many ways, but not least in regard to the fact that if you drop it down to zero, the machine stops and it's very reluctant to start on its own without a bit of a nudge. So if you put it up, you need to give it a bit of a shove to get it going. Um, although I have to say, having run this at 12, 24, 36 volts as well as the 48, um, it's a lot more happy moving uh, at uh, 48 volts than it is at 12 volts. So I'm guessing this is a motor winding issue.